Arizona State traveling to Cincinnati. It's the earliest start of the season for Arizona State. Kickoff is set for 9 a.m. their time, but it doesn't matter what time it is because it's always Cam Scadaboo time. He's coming off a 158 yard game, so you know he's going to be putting on a show as he ranks fifth in the nation in rushing yards. I'm a neutral party. I may or may not have ordered a Cam Scadaboo jersey just because I love I like the it. name I and, like I lo it. and I love his game. Kenny Dillingham noted that Scadaboo actually was clocked at 21 miles per hour in the fourth quarter what? of last week's game against Utah. So he's one of those guys that continues to get lathered up and better as the game goes on. Wow, yeah, his speed, his ability to break tackles has been so much fun to watch all season long. But if this squad couldn't be hot enough right now, well, just bring in two-time NBA MVP Steve Nash to speak to the team. He spoke with them about the process and just always staying ready to be able to sustain success. And if anyone knows about success, it is Steve Nash. The Sun Devils will be trying to dunk on a hot Cincinnati team that's four and two, but those two losses were all by a combined four points. Yeah, the Bearcats' Corey Kiner was carted off the field in their loss two weeks ago against Texas Tech. He was back in action and gathered 83 yards in his team's ugly win against UCF in Orlando. By the way, that was Brendan Soresby's words, not mine. He said it was an ugly win. As far as Kiner is concerned, he's playing with a lot of padding on his ribs, but he's playing well.